Howdy guys, this is Raymond Iron Bob McKinney. Today, I want to talk about uh, infinite reality, when I think of things like infinite realities or viewpoints and dimensions. I'm going to touch on more on this. That when you become more increasingly aware of what already is, that thing that you're aware of that of experience you're aware of becomes more real, but more amplified relative to your frame of reference directed by your observation, your self-narration. When you become increasingly aware of what already is, you're tapping into yourself on a dimensionally larger scale. There are infinite dimensions. Is assume that there are infinite dimensions, infinite viewpoints of the same life substance. We can look at the same person from different viewpoints and get different and they that person will reveal to us different viewpoints relative to our frame of reference directed by our observation. Two people could be uh, two people could assume the same person uh, different assumptions of the same person. One could assume that person's a narcissist, narcissist, and the other person could assume the person is the most kind person ever. And that's how that person will be revealed relative to each one of them. And you've seen people you've seen people like that. You may have seen people like that. I know I have. And when I'm talking about becoming increasingly aware of what already is, when you like when I talk about things like my like my objective senses, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my my objective senses, they literally can't do anything. They're only filters. The one who's behind is my dimensionally larger self, the observer. That's the one who's dimensionally, the dimensionally larger self. And um, when I become more increasingly aware of this dimensionally larger self, which is myself, then my, then by things like seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, they become more amplified. You can you can sense. Something more clearly, more clearly. And I believe to a point, guys, that this power, when you, whether you want to call it subconscious mind, superconscious mind, God, the field, the matrix field, whatever you want to call it, hologram, when you tap in, when you become more increasingly aware and tap in this, this infinite power, I believe in the possibility to no exaggeration at all that you can be able to jump timelines cause cities to bend at your will countries and cities to bend at your will causing continental pl tectonic plates to rearrange themselves in a way where they can be able to form land masses where you can be able to walk across those land masses without having to take a boat or plane to get to from one continent to the next. And even causing, when you become increasingly aware to stop the activity of your mind, and you can even stop the motion of planets revolving or orbiting around themselves. Though things appear to be moving, it's your frame of reference. It's your constantly fra oriented frame of mind that's causing everything to rotate. It's your frame of mind, guys, causing everything to rotate. Because everyone perceives life moving differently. So, I I know those possibilities. Those are. I believe in those poss in those uh, possibilities, guys. Do I count on them? I definitely don't put all my tr I don't. I definitely don't put all my focus and stuff like that. All I'm just saying, guys, is those are possible situations. Things like walk on water, like Jesus. You can do it too, if you truly convince yourself that that's totally possible for yourself, regardless of external stimuli. Or um, just. Just money showing up out of the blue kind of thing. Like a million dollars in your savings account. 
or checking account or whatever account you have without even having to work, grind your ass off for it because it's already there. It's already yours. Assume that's already yours. Assume that you claim it because all these guys' money, it's just, it's made up of photons, light, light particles, light substance. And your frame of reference reveals those arranged particles, those arranged photons into the form of hundreds of dollars of bills. Hundreds of thousands of dollars of bills. Or in the form of a check or all those things, guys. So, and there's no such thing as lack, guys. There's no such thing as lack. The only lack that there is in the universe is the limitations you impose upon yourself. There is no lack. Life is a gift you have given to yourself. That you give to or take from yourself. No one's taken away from... No one else is taken or given to you but yourself, guys. You are given and taken away... You are given from... You are given to and taken away from yourself. Your frame... State of consciousness is what determines those external experiences. You're getting different viewpoints of what already is, including your geographical movements, including your space-time movements. Those are moving through frames of mind, frames of reference, directed by your observation. Conscious or unconscious observation. And that's that's where I go with like, it may sound like science fiction to some, to some it may seem, sounds like impossible or science fiction. But if they assume that it's impossible or science fiction, that's how it's going to appear to be relative to their frame of reference. Truth is far stranger than fiction, guys. Truth is far stranger than fiction. Your assumptions, your subjective assumptions, reveal objective facts. Your assumptions precede all facts, all facts of experience, the facts that we claim that we claim as fa- what we call as fact now was once only claimed a, a claim, and we accept it as fact. It's it still stems from a claim, guys. It's still off of the. Uh, it stems from claiming, from assuming. So that gives me that tells me that it I can go beyond the dogmatic ways of thinking, like these rigid, confined ways of thinking and to assume for myself, that I assume that life is rigged in my favor, that I assume that money comes to me easily, easily and quickly, that I assume that I am the iron body and that I've always been a master of manifesting, whether I believe in it or not, whether I believe it, and I've always been a master of manifesting and that my affirmations, my affirmations do work whether I believe in them or not. That my af- that I can affirm without feeling some sort of emotion, kind of thing. Because here's the thing, guys. You can think. I don't. I don't. When you try to feel an emotion, kind of thing, you don't have to do that. You can things manifest even just by a subtle thought alone. You don't need to feel anything because the subtle thought, guys. When you enter that state, that you automatically enter a state. That's the feeling itself. You don't need to force a feeling, kind of thing. You don't need to do shadow work. You don't need to do inner child stuff unless if you if you feel if, unless if you like that stuff. But I, for me, it's just like I'm just kind of oriented. I'm all I'm doing is just kind of exploring infinite viewpoints of life itself, understanding aspects of myself. And when I become more increasingly aware of what already is, that's when reality becomes more real, more. Magical, and without and without even having to give up anything that I uh, give up anything else, I don't have to give up friends or family or anything like that, guys. That some people go so far to like thinking, uh, if you want to get if you want to accomplish your dreams, you got to sacrifice and you got to abandon your family, kind of thing. It's like no, guys, that's that's an illusion. That's no one needs to go that far. No one needs to beat them, beat the living shit out of themselves. Those kind of things. Life is simply how you view it. That's it. So guys, I hope this video helps. 
and I bless you all, and happy manifesting. What would the iron body do? He would claim to himself that I am the iron body, and I've always been a master of manifesting.